welcome to the Diesel Power Challenge presented by XDP. Our next event is the Heads Up Side-by-Side -side Quarter Mile Drag Race. So for the first time at the Diesel Power Challenge, the weight is quite literally off the shoulders of these very, very powerful beasts of burden. The trucks are going to come up and we're going to qualify them for an eight truck heads up drag race. We have eight trucks left in the competition. They're going to qualify on their lapse time. So for the next half hour is open qualifying. They can come out and run as many times as they want. Their lowest elapsed time will determine their qualifying position. for you. The good news is, before this whole mess happened, you recorded the fastest mile per hour that we've ever had in the history of this event. No one's ever gone 130 in the quarter mile. You went 130 and change. You went 130, I think it was 075. That's the good news. Uh, you can fill me in on what the situation is behind us here. Um, I had a coolant problem, obviously. I had a union come apart. Uh, it's a slight problem, but a big mess for all these guys. I'll try to get it fixed and be back out here, but who knows? We'll find your way off the racetrack and hopefully you can uh, hustle on it. We'll get you back in eliminations. Thank you. In eliminations, it's a heads up, no breakout style race. First guy to the finish line wins and moves on to the next round until we're down to just two trucks and the quickest man on the grounds will leave with all the points for winning the quarter mile drag race. No weight on their backs, all the horsepower to the ground. It's gonna be a lot of smoke and a whole bunch of thunder here at Bandemir. So it's almost go time here for the quarter mile heads up drag race where our eight remaining trucks will square off in pairs of two, one will stay and one will go home. Now, we qualified these trucks earlier this afternoon. A Little bit of drama in qualifying. The first thing that happened was LeVon Miller was your number one qualifier. He went actually 1130 at over 120 miles an hour. The only problem with that is the truck isn't certified to go that quick. So if LeVon Miller goes quicker than 1150, he'll be disqualified by the racetrack. Gonna have to keep an eye on that. He'll be part of the first pair. Second thing that happened was our man uh, Shiloh Ellingsford went down the racetrack and ran the fastest, meaning mile an hour pass in the history of the Diesel Power Challenge. Went 130 miles an hour. The ET was somewhere in the high 11s. At the end of that run, the truck blew a fitting in the cooling system, actually a union where two hoses came in, split that union open at the finish line. We had some cleanup to do, but luckily for us, it wasn't that bad, and he's going to be able to fix the truck. So we are going to start this competition with eight trucks remaining. We're going to have three rounds of competition. We'll go from eight trucks to four trucks to a final round of two. We're going to do it in a pretty quick fashion. Oh, it will be the Cummins-powered Ram of LeVon Miller. Lined up next to the big, giant Ford F-350 of Ryan Anderson. Two very different studies on how to prepare a diesel truck for competition. The big lift and the off-road style tires for Anderson. Of course, I don't want to say a lowered stance, but certainly a far lower stance for LeVon Miller in that refrigerator white Cummins powered Ram. Miller was your number one qualifier. Anderson had trouble in his last qualifying pass getting the thing to spool up. So again, we have LeVon Miller and Ryan Anderson lined up side by side. They're both fully staged. And down comes the Christmas tree. The wind light will come on for LeVon Miller as he outruns Ryan Anderson, and he does so as a smart drag racer would. If you listen to the Cummins truck headed down the racetrack, it was not screaming and yelling, it was not out of shape, and it was not going crazy. The reason it wasn't is because LeVon Miller knew he had Ryan Anderson covered. He worked the truck only hard enough as he needed to, won that thing by a truck length. He moves on to the next round, which will actually be the semifinals. And so our next pair on the racetrack will be another Cummins and Power Stroke combo. Defending Diesel Power Champion at West Beach is in the right lane as you're looking at him here on the drag strip. On the left-hand side of the Christmas tree is Matt Kaufman and his Cummins Power Dodge. So in line six power or the V8 Power Stroke engine. behind 
victory for Matt Kaufman. 11 78 with a 7, 117. He got to the finish line first. Watching up the starting line, it was West Beach had a significant hole shot. West Beach left first by a long margin, and he actually had a pretty good lead heading down towards 330 feet. It was at that point at mid track, and you could hear him screaming and yelling up there at the starting line. It was at mid track with when Matt Kaufman's truck really started digging, and it ran down and it caught Beach at about 1,000 feet and just motored on by. Well, Troy Sankey uh, knocked out of competition today. What was it that uh, what was it that stopped your progress today? Uh, injector issues. Don't know exactly what, but injectors aren't staying in it. So, so you got uh, you got a guy running off for an injector, a couple injectors. What's yeah, the plan? One injector from the dealership coming back. Uh, just swap the nozzles over and get it running for tomorrow. Sounds good, man. We'll see you up in the mountains, and uh, yeah, make sure you get the fuel system ready. You don't get you don't get stuck up there in a blizzard no, or something. Not at all. Thanks. Dan Howard sitting high atop the Ford here, not the position he wanted to be in. What was it that uh, what was it that stopped you today? We know you didn't make the call there for uh, it was the second round. Uh, pump quit on us. We had a uh, stealth SRP 1.1. That's two and five days that took a dump on us. Uh, puked it out. Can't do nothing about it. You know, it's it's part of the game. Um, we'll be up and running. We'll be back at it tomorrow. So. Well, we look forward to seeing you cruise the mountains. Too bad we didn't get to see you cruise down this mountain here at Vandermeer today. Yeah, it was starting to run pretty good. I think we had a couple of pretty good hole shots, you know, for a manual. We were getting up there right at 100 miles an hour. So we were we were grabbing gears and going as fast as we could. And like I said, it is what it is. Four trucks remain in the Eliminator, three of which are powered by Cummins diesels. Who will go to the final round, Miller or Kaufman? Both are experienced drag racers and both make a whole lot of horsepower and torque. Away we go. And it will be an upset victory for Matt Kaufman. 12, 20, and 119, a whole shot victory for Matt Kaufman. He outran the quicker and faster 1198 at 120 of LeVon Miller. How did he do it? Well, he had the better reaction time and he led down the race. Miller's truck was moving left and right. He had to pedal the thing. Unbelievable. 12-20 with a 3-1-19. Matt Kaufman wins on a whole shot. He'll go to the final round to face the winner of our next pair. Danik St. Pierre facing the same situation that Shiloh Ellingford faced last round. Ironically, it's Shiloh, Shiloh Ellingford that's supposed to be in the left lane. He could not make the call to make the competition run. So now it is going to be Danik St. Pierre. And he is just going to take that green light. He's going to roll ahead. That's all he needs to do. So he is going to back up and wait for Matt Kaufman. And we'll have an all Cummins powered final round. Kaufman's truck, the low slung on street tire machine. St. Pierre's truck, the lifted mud tired machine. And here comes our final round, a pair of Cummins powered Rams trucks. The Canadian, Danik St. Pierre on the right side of the Christmas tree. Matt Kaufman on the left hand side of the tree. Kaufman in that ruby red, much more hunkered down Ram truck. Fully halfway stage, I should say, on both sides of the tree. Now Kaufman goes all the way in, starts to build the boost up. Danik St. Pierre is taking his time. He is all the way in. We got a winner coming right now. Who's it going to be? And look at Kaufman hustle down the Pepsi lane. 11.48 at 116 miles an hour. The Cummins powered Ram pickup truck of Matt Kaufman has taken the win here in the quarter mile heads up drag race. Oh, yeah. Put the tow mirrors up. First off, congratulations, man. Thank you. Couple round, you won one round in a big hole shot, so that's pretty cool. And muscled a couple other guys. You're one of the few people that made it to the final that actually had to win all three of your rounds. There were no buy runs. So talk a little bit about how the truck ran today. Oh, uh, just with the, a lot of the competition was a lot faster than, they're cutting, cutting better times since I wasn't sure I was all going to pan out. But the last run, then I, I don't know, gave it all to the worst. <laughs> The run against Miller was pretty good because you you had a, it was like a two tenths probably whole shot win you had on him. Did you, were you concentrating on leaving or you just got the better of him on that one? I racing against a buddy. It was just uh, just trying to cut a light and race my own race on that one. So I, with, whether win or draw on that one. So. Congratulations, man! Great day of racing, and uh, you come out of here with a very good victory today. Thank you.
Well, Sean Holman, we came out of here today smoking, literally. Let's talk about the drag race first, because that was a battle. Yeah, you know, we uh, definitely had uh, some some prizes in there. People who thought they'd run a lot faster, uh, you know, just didn't get down to their times. And then we also had one of our competitors, Miller. He was only certified to run 11.5, ran an incredible 11.3, but then got warned by the track. So I think that played, having that happen early in qualifying, played into a strategy. And I think he uh, held back from giving his all in the end because of it. Matt Kaufman was our overall winner in the drag race, and we did have a couple competitors break over the course of the event. Well, the cool thing about Kaufman was he had to win every one of his rounds. He did not get a buy or a competition single from a broke truck. He won one of his or two of his rounds on strict horsepower and ET and torque. He outran the guy, and one of them, he beat LeVon Miller on a hole shot. Yeah, I mean, their, their times uh, were, uh, according to our sheet here, uh, 11484 for Kaufman at 11649 and a uh, 12624 at 11896 for St. Pierre. So, you know, it, it was a, actually a pretty good race to watch. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, the underdog was St. Pierre, but in the end, Kaufman just had too much going on and, uh, and, and you know, won it flat out. He did, and it speaks to kind of what happened overall today. We had three events here, three winners. We go into the final day, which is our cruise into the Rocky Mountains, and then the sled pull. I mean, literally wide open. There will be connecting rods on the ground when we finish that sled pull tomorrow. Yeah, I think people it's, are going to find out how close it is tomorrow and are going to leave nothing on the table. They're going all for it. It's going to be an exciting round tomorrow. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I know you're looking forward to it. It's going to be a beautiful drive and then a beautiful bit of destruction, I bet, hooked to that, uh, hooked to that pulling sled. LeVon Miller came in third in his ramp. Danik St. Pierre also in a ramp came in second, runnering up to Matt Kaufman, who put on a great performance, a great driving job there at Bandemir for that red Cummins powered ramp pickup of Matt Kaufman, your drag racing winner. To get your extended length DVD of the 2014 Diesel Power Challenge from Extreme Diesel Performance, visit www.extremediesel.com. That's www.extremediesel.com. Thank you.